Let's problem solve with travel expert and editor of the Thrifty Traveler, Kyle Potter. There are a lot of options where you could avoid this headache altogether. Airport hack number one, choose the day you leave MSP's main terminal wisely. Mondays are just always gonna be crazy. Fridays are always gonna be crazy. Sundays are gonna be kind of crazy too because that's when business travelers leave. So for the average traveler out there, the best thing that they can probably do is try to be a little bit flexible with their schedule Leave on a Tuesday, leave on a Wednesday, leave on a Saturday even. If you have to leave on those days, consider Terminal 1's kid sister, Terminal 2. That's another great idea because, you know, Sun Country flies out of Terminal 2, JetBlue flies direct to Boston from here, um, Southwest has a lot of different flights out of Terminal 2. Those are the cheapest ways out, but there are ways to pay your way out of the longest line. The most well-known is TSA PreCheck. It's $85 for five years. It takes you into a separate line at security, and when you go through, no taking off the shoes, belts, and jackets, you leave your liquids and laptops in the bag. Small problem, appointments are scarce right now, and you have to have one to get pre-check. I tried today in the Metro to get an appointment. The earliest I found was for uh, whew, October 2nd. What I'd suggest is keep checking back, because people cancel all the time their appointments. They can't make it, they decide they don't, they can't do it that day, whatever the case may be, and you can slide into a canceled appointment. Global Entry is the international version of TSA PreCheck. It's a hundred bucks for five years. It's a great deal. But again, you gotta wait a while to get that appointment. Another option, clear. This one's expensive. It's $180 a year. Some airlines run discounts if you're a frequent flyer. And keep in mind, CLEAR is not a government-run program. Yeah, it's a, it's a privately run program. Um, they, they take your fingerprints, they take your iris scans. So that kind of opens up a whole nother can of worms about um, data privacy. But, you know, the people who use it and use it frequently, I know really love it. But be warned, the second half of CLEAR sign-up has to happen at the airport. So right now those lines are gonna get real long as everyone is trying to game the system at MSP at once. And the one thing that's not going to help those lines move any faster is being rude to TSA agents. It's certainly not TSA agents' fault. Don't take it out on them. They don't decide when to build a, you know, a new check-in area. They don't decide how many coworkers they have. They're paid relatively poorly. Most of them went without pay during the federal government shutdown this winter. They're the last people you should take it out on, so just try to be patient. Yeah, because they got to go through this every single day. Good news, today an airport spokesman basically admitted this stinks and told us that they are adding more TSA staff at the checkpoints early in the morning at crunch time and they're adding more airport staff to show you what line to get in because that's where a lot of people are getting into trouble. They're going into the wrong lines and then basically waiting double.